the door, all questions reside. Turn the handle and step inside. Intuitive guidance is your natural call. Lay out the cards or let them fall. Close your eyes and open your heart. The mystery is a form of art. Hold a question dear to mind. Turn the key to see what you find. This is your galactic leader here, Honey Gaia, and I'm here to bring you the Divine Door Reading for Leo. Now, if you are a ferocious lion and you're visiting our channel for the first time, welcome. If you are returning or a cross watcher, thank you so much for your contribution to building our channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell on the bottom right side of the video and share and comment with your friends. If you're interested in looking at other ways that we creatively express ourselves in the universe, check out the description box below where you will find our affiliate channels and other cool things like our website, starseedirect.com, and any other uh, services that we provide. So let's get started, okay? I shuffled the decks, cleansed everything, and we're going to assess your divine door. Your divine door for March. But before we can access this door, Leo, we first have to assess your divine key. So let's get started. Leo, the problem that you're going to be facing in March is represented by the hanged man. This essentially represents Pisces energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a Pisces that you're dealing with. This represents an energy of feeling stuck, okay? Left, hung out to dry, if you will. You may be experiencing a sense of not being able to get out of a situation no matter what you try this month. Perhaps you're stuck in your mind about something you're working on or simply stuck in a location or situation that you choose not to be in. Now, what you don't see, your blind spot in the situation regarding your problem is the Page of Cups. This is water energy, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio this also represents good news. I'm also getting a sense of the fish. You could be expecting a child or you could have a child. This may also represent childish energy. Perhaps you're stuck dealing with someone who's acting childish. Take what resonates. Perhaps you feel stuck not knowing that this person or situation has you not looking or seeing the childish things that are being done, possibly behind your back. This may be involving the Nine of Pentacles. This is a pre-empress. This represents abundance, feeling independent. This also represents being single. But this represents a third party involved in regards to your problem. Perhaps an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, what you need to realize in regards to this problem and the energy involved is the death card. Scorpio. This also represents transformation. So even though this situation may, may make you feel like you're stuck in it, this also may be an opportunity for spirit to work in your life and transform you in such a way. 
but you're not going to be able to assess the transformation in this situation, Leo, unless you stay away from the seven of pentacles, looking back. I'm distinctively hearing the bar in that Kanye West song, um, Ultra Light Beam, where he's referencing the biblical story of Lot and his family leaving Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, Lot's wife looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. You don't want to look back in this situation, Leo. Essentially, you want to avoid looking back in this situation, Leo. Now, the steps it's going to take to solve this problem is represented by the Ace of Cups. More water energy. This also symbolizes a divine opportunity being given to you in regards to emotional fulfillment also have the ace of pentacles a divine opportunity given to you that represents abundance or time two aces leo this looks promising this is the steps that is being divinely guided for you to take to solve your key the next card is the two of pentacles Earth energy, this also speaks of a sense of being able to effortlessly juggle multiple things, perhaps remaining in an energy of indecision. Perhaps this may also represent not necessarily deciding between money and love, but choosing both and juggling them effortlessly. Perhaps this is going to take some effort on your part. You will also need the two of wands to solve this key. This speaks of taking an assessment of everything you've already acquired and making a firm decision on what the next move is gonna be. Notice the world is in the man's hands. You have plenty of options, Leo. You're just choosing not to see them right now. Perhaps because you're too busy looking at what was. You need to look forward now. Your last tip from Spirit is the Hermit. This represents isolation self-worth and leadership perhaps the last tip that spirit is guiding you to take is leading the way perhaps yourself out of this problematic situation of feeling stagnant no one else is going to save you leo you need to save yourself Again, your success is going to come from the Nine of Pentacles. Same energy as the third party involvement, perhaps, Leo. There is a pre-empress or an earth energy around you or perhaps involved in this that may assist you in achieving your success. Perhaps following in her his or her footsteps in regards to this mindset that they have in being abundant and content on their own. Now, we're going to clarify the key just so you have a better insight on how to open this door. The hangman, Leo, is clarified by the three of wands, fire energy. This also speaks about the brave wanderer 
Perhaps you already made a decision a while ago that you wanted to go in a new direction, but you're stagnant in actually taking action towards this direction. And that's what's causing this problem here for you in March. You're not ready to let go of this situation and actually move forward, possibly from a water sign. The Page of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What you don't see is how childish this is of you to cry over spilled milk, Leo. This blind, you're blindsided by this regret, this sense of loss, and possibly feeling down that you even fell for this childish shit. Leo, this is a waste of energy. In the month of March, Leo, you're not gonna see that this third party is going to be victorious in possibly making you feel this way. Hmm. Perhaps you may feel regret in involving yourself with this water sign because you thought that they were playing around or messing around with this empress. And what you don't see is this empress is single, independent, and gaining victory in your energy to boot. What you don't realize about the situation, Leo, death is clarified by the King of Pentacles. There is an end to this security of feeling safe in whatever this stagnancy that came about in regards to this water sign. It, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but I'm getting strong Pisces and Scorpio here. What you don't realize that you should realize is that this is an opportunity for you to transform your financial situation and become secure and abundant on your own. What you need to stay away from, Leo. Is the Queen of Cups. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. Perhaps what you need to stay away from is being nostalgic about the emotions that you felt for this circumstance or this person. Because if you dwell on just the happy times, completely omitting the fact that this person betrayed you and possibly made you regret even being involved with them, you're going to end up repeating this cycle in March. Is this something you want? Don't look back, Leo. You need to stay away from reserving this cup of love for someone who doesn't deserve it. Now, the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands. There may be a quick turnabout in communication coming in, passionate communication regarding this Ace of Cups. Once you remove this stagnant energy of death and regret from this past situation or person, you're going to realize that that's energetically freeing up space for the divine to quickly come in and passionately bring you this cup of love that is going to fulfill whatever regret that you felt in this problematic issue with these other bystanders. Okay? The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the lovers, okay? 
This symbolizes a commitment, possibly in work. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. This may also be taking time to heal a commitment or a marriage. Or this can also represent an air sign or some kind of contractual agreement with the divine. Divine may be saying, take your time to heal. Okay? They may also be bringing in a soulmate for you. If you, again, free up that energetic space for them to come in. Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Wands. To help you solve this issue, Leo, you're going to really have to think twice about fighting every little battle. Okay? You got to choose your battles wisely. Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, that's choose your battles wisely. This person is looking at that bottom pentacle and realizing this is a repeating endless cycle of bullshit. Do I want to keep going through this or do I really want to just look at this a different way? Think twice before engaging in this pettiness, Leo. The Two of Wands is clarified by... The King of Wands. The step to your success in March, Leo, is going to be fully embracing the fact that you are fully in control of your life, of this situation, of getting your freedom and choosing what you think is best for your life. Clarifying the Two of Wands, okay? That's heavy, passionate energy here. You are in control of your future, not anyone else. Okay, Leo? You, I'm also getting, you may be feeling like you made the right decision to hold out or speak up regarding you feeling like you deserve what you're asking for. And Divine said, you're right. That's why we're going to give it to you. Hence the reason why you're now holding the globe, Leo. Well done. In the month of March, the hermit is clarified by temperance. The step to opening your door this month, Leo, is going to come from being patient. Because you're patient, divine is going to shine light on why you stuck through this situation or why it took some time to finally see an outcome that works in your favor. I'm also gaining in the month of March, you may be taking some time to heal. Divine may be shining light on this opportunity and showing you why things happened the way they did. Perhaps to give you time to prepare for this door. Excuse me. The Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Sitting pretty. Your success is going to come from embodying this same energy that perhaps you saw in the third party not realizing that you were regretting this situation perhaps because you were concerned about what this other person did or had or the victory they had over this same circumstance that you went through not realizing that hey i could have that too because i deserve it leo embody this energy two nines nine ninety nine may be significant for you in the month of march most definitely <laughs> i'm hearing 
I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Well done, Leo. Now, if you decide to uh, go through the motions, that spirit has led you and advised you to go for the month of March, you will be unlocking your divine door and what looks like actually uh, the door to a cell or a tomb of some sort. Perhaps you felt like you were, it was the end for you. But in the month of March, I'm hearing resurrection. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Heart healing. Morning now had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. What a beautiful door, Leo. Clarified by the indigo angel of authority. You hear me, Leo? This is God-given authority. God is shining down favor upon you for a reason because you were faithful with a little. And now he's going to abundantly bless you because he knows in his heart of hearts that you're going to be faithful with a lot. And there's a lot more blessings to come, Leo. You did the healing. In the month of March, you're going to see just how favored you truly are. By the divine. That concludes your Leo reading, your Leo divine door reading, actually. <laughs> if you enjoyed it and it entertained you or enlightened you in any kind of way, please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe, or comment below if you have any commentary regarding the message. And until next time, Leo, love and light to you.